Hey everyone, and welcome to Vector Twist, the place where you can learn all about Adobe Illustrator. I'm Mona, and I'm here to show you that it is easier than you think. With this quick tip, I would like to show you how you can create a retro style worn look on your illustration. It is easy to do, and I bet you can make some awesome worn designs with this little trick. So let's have a look here. You can see here on top and the bottom of this vintage coffee tin illustration, there is a worn look to the color that once was on the tin. And I would like to show you how you can create this yourself in Adobe Illustrator. So first let me hide what I have created so I can show you how you can create it yourself. First let's zoom in. And then on the top here, we want to create a rectangle. We want to choose medium gray or dark gray. And so you can have the exact same size of your object or illustration that you have. You can always work with smart guides. The smart guides you can turn on under view, smart guides. After that, we want to choose the rectangle tool and we want to create a rectangle just underneath the top part of the can here. Now, since I have the smart guides on, it will tell me when I have the right size of my rectangle. Of course, we do not want to have a stroke, so we'll turn this off and the fill we're going to set in a medium gray, maybe this one here. After that, we want to use the pencil tool. Now, if you're working with Adobe Illustrator CC, the latest version, you might look into your toolbar and you might not find the pencil tool. All you can see now is the shaper tool, but don't worry, the pencil tool hasn't disappeared. Just click and hold and underneath you can see there is still the pencil tool. The shortcut for this, by the way, is N. Now what we want to do is actually double click the tool and in the pop-up option, where you can see pencil tool options under Fidelity, we want to set it to accurate instead of smooth. Now the reason why we're doing this, we want to create a torn line, a zigzag line, not a wavy and smooth line. So let me show you. So first you start making a zigzag line just as if the color of the tin is wearing off on top. And then you keep going till you're at the end. Make sure that you overlap it on the outside on both sides. Then you select the black arrow tool. You still have the line selected. Then you hold the shift key and you select the rectangle. Now both are selected. And then we're going to window, pathfinder. Here in the pathfinder, what we want to do is actually choose the divide button. Now we have two separate shapes. All we have to do now is select the white arrow tool and then select the bottom shape and then hit the delete button on the keyboard. And as you can see now, we have to look as if our color on top of here is wearing off on the can. Now we want to add a little bit of a shadow and we can easily do this by just selecting the shape and then we're creating a copy into the back. The shortcut for this is command CB or control CB. And then with the arrow tools on the keyboard, we're going to notch it down about two points or maybe three, this is up to you. And then we're going to choose a dark red or whatever color is darkest on your illustration. Now, if I deselect everything and I zoom in, you can see that we created a little bit of a shadow. Now let me zoom out again. And here we have our worn look for our illustration. And of course, this you would repeat on the bottom as well, if you have a can or anywhere where you think you need a worn look. Now this was really easy and the steps are not complicated. So let me show you again the finished worn look that I have added to my illustration. So here it is, and this is it. So this is an easy way how you can create a worn look for your vintage tin illustration. Please subscribe to my channel and also please check out vectortwist.com where you can find more quick tips, tutorials, and inspirations. I'll see you next time.